So the million dollar question is this, all right? We know that you're constantly developing yourself at practice, in the weight room, with your nutrition and your dieting, but how are you developing your mind? I'm gonna give you five ways today on how you can develop your mind. And honestly, it's not too much heavy lifting. It's not too he much heavy lifting. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the episode. Welcome to Young the Ball Podcast. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ballers? Welcome to another episode of the Beyond the Ball podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and here we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right. And today I, I, I was thinking because I've been having a couple of conversations as of late and um, talking with people, talking with staff, talking with coaches, even talking with some student athletes. And I know that a lot of us, a lot of them, want to go pro, right? It, it's been a dream. It's been a goal. And I'm not saying that the opportunity to go pro is not there, right? The opportunity might be there for you, okay? But um, at the end of the day, you're, you're going to have to go pro in something, right? And shout out to Usman uh, Kamara, the director of uh, Oregon's player development, uh, cause he, he shared that with me, he said, you got to go pro in something. I was like, that's deep, Usman. That's deep, man. So, uh, shout out to him for that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just dive in. So for me, one of the, one of the biggest challenges and one of the struggles that I had for a good amount of time, right? Very good amount of time was after I graduated college, graduated with a degree, uh, well, graduated my bachelor's in psychology, graduated with my associates in yikes i'm not even sure what i graduated with my associates in but anyway 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 the moral of the story is not that the moral of the story was i still did not know the best way that i learned and some of you might be in this space too you might not know the best way that you learn the best way that you digest information and then you also may not know the best way that you can communicate information right you may be somebody that writes stuff and that might be you communicating you may be somebody who is a gifted orator. You can speak, you can share, you have the gift of gab, you have energy in that way to where you can help move and motivate a group of people or make them feel a certain emotion. So today, this is what I wanna break down. Five ways, really quick, uh, how we can continue to develop ourselves holistically. Holistically, that's right. All right, so first way is going old school with books. Right. Going old school with the physical book. If you're somebody that enjoys reading or you've had a previous interest in reading, I would suggest that you give yourself maybe hmm, like 10 minutes a day. Right. That's what I did. I started off reading 10 minutes a day until I got to the point to where I built up the habit of a couple of weeks. I've read 10 minutes a day consistently. Now let me up that a little bit. And then I moved it to like 20, right? And then I started just reading the amount of pages. But the thing I want to highlight to you is this. Don't focus on out the gate, I'm going to read 20 pages. Out the gate, I'm going to read a whole chapter. Don't, no, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that, okay? I want you to start just reading 10 minutes a day. That way you start a timer on your phone or on the computer and then you cut the timer off, you put the book up, you're like, man, I want to keep reading, but I would encourage you just to stop right there because you continue to have the appetite still building. Okay, so uh, that's the first way is reading old school books, traditional books, because that way you're able to eliminate distractions, you know, not no pop-ups going to happen, no texting because you're reading a OG book. The second way, if you're somebody like John, reading books is cool, but I don't really like reading books like that. And I'm always doing something. Then I would suggest for you audiobooks. And I wasn't the biggest advocate for audiobooks at first. And then my mom bought me a subscription to Audible, right? And with that subscription, then I was able to say, wow, you know what? Okay. I got, got a couple of books I like. Okay. I'm checking out this book. I'm checking out that book. And then I got to the point to where if I bought and if I bought a book on Audible and I really enjoyed it, then I would buy the physical book so that I can go through and highlight and underline different things like that. And if you're somebody who's like, John, I wouldn't mind trying out audiobooks, 
I'm going to drop a link just down below to where you can get a free audio book uh, with Audible, right? Just click the link down below, get a free audio book with Audible. And it's like a seven day trial. So, you know, tap in, check that out. I'm going to drop a link for y'all just down below. But audio books is you can listen to them while you're at the gym. You can listen to them while you're working out. You can listen to them while you're driving from one place to another. So shout out to audio books because this now allows you to still get the same content from an OG traditional book, but now we're able to digest it in the way that we best receive and desire to learn information, okay? So that's two ways so far, right? We got books, we got audio books. Number three, we're gonna break down podcasts. Talk to me about my podcast. John, talk to me about my podcast, all right? So you all are listening to or watching this via YouTube, and I would suggest that if you're somebody who likes audiobooks and you're somebody who likes information on the go, easy to digest, check out a podcast, whatever subject you're interested in. This podcast, of course, is called Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones, and I would suggest that you subscribe to it uh, on YouTube, and I would suggest that you follow on uh, whatever platform you listen to podcasts. However, um, there's a ton of topics out there. We're talking finance. We're talking NIL deals. We're talking sports. We're talking news. Some of my favorite are, shout out to David Shands with the Social Proof Podcast, because on his podcast, they talk about entrepreneurship, right? And then shout out to uh, Coach Ed Jones. He's the host of um, he's the host of the Player Development Pod. And on his podcast, they talk about player development. He interviews coaches, he interviews staff, and they talk about their stories and their philosophies around player development. Shout out to Dr. Derek Burgess. Dr. Derek Burgess is the host of Time Out with the Sports Doctor. And he talks and interviews people talking about money, talking about mindset, and talking about legacy, right? So those are a few other podcasts I enjoy. And of course, Million Dollars Worth a Game. Um, and there's more and more podcasts. I can just go down the list uh, of some other podcasts that, that I listen to, I enjoy. Um, but the focus is finding a podcast that you enjoy while also finding maybe somebody who is in a spot that you desire to be in, right? And the reason I say that is because if you if you see a former NFL athlete and you want to go to the NFL, I would listen to what they're sharing. I would listen to their experience. If you're, li if you're listening to somebody who is a CEO of a startup company, a CEO of a Fortune 500 company, I would suggest that you listen to him or her because they have information that they could share as well to now help you begin to extract and apply, right? So take the information that they're sharing and then put it into practice for you in your life, wherever you are. And that's the value of podcasts because you have a mentor right here in your phone, all because they're interviewing people you might not have access to yet. They're having conversations and they're bringing different topics that you might not have considered just yet. So shout out to podcasts. And once again, this is beyond the ball. So I suggest that if you enjoy this content, Make sure to, you know, make sure to follow. And if you watch on YouTube and you like what I'm talking about, smash that like button, drop a comment uh, so I can shout you out on the next episode. And then the fourth way that we can continue to develop ourselves holistically, YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Here's why, Okay. And I, I want to talk about YouTube because YouTube is a search engine similar to Google. They will give you whatever information you're seeking for anything. How to start a business. How to print t-shirts. That's where I learned how to, how to make what I needed to print t-shirts. That's where I learn some areas in the financial realm of how to budget. That's where I learn how to tighten up and further tailor my presentations 
all on YouTube. You can learn how to start a business. You can learn how to do taxes. Like you can learn how to do the bare minimum of everything that you need. I'm not saying you should stop there, but this is a great place to start to see some potential interest. You say, I like that. I like this. I want to learn more about this. I might be interested in that. Watching videos on YouTube on that topic. And then after that, watching interviews of people who do that thing. Then you can determine if you're willing to put in the work or you're willing to do the due diligence in order to get to a level of success or further understanding in that particular area. Does that make sense? Let, let me know down in the comments if that makes sense, what I was talking about on YouTube. And then if you're in a spot where you're like, John, I want to develop myself, but I don't have time. John, I don't have time. I need bite-sized, bite-sized, bite-sized pieces of content to where I can get it, I can apply it, and I can keep on moving. Y'all, shout out to number five. I had to do it. Tick tock, okay? Tick tock. Shout out to my guy, uh, Coach Eric Daru, because he came on the show and he talked about how student athletes can leverage TikTok for NIL. Okay. And I want to talk about TikTok because TikTok is major. They have over a billion users on the platform and it's continually growing, continually growing. And student athletes, I've seen really hit it on TikTok because they do the day in the life content. They do what am I eating type content. They share their experiences. And I've seen student athletes just share all type of content on the TikTok platform. But I've even seen people show how you cook stuff. I, I cook with my wife and we, we've taken some recipes from TikTok and she don't have a TikTok account. She just shared with me the recipe and I checked it out. I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. And I've even seen people talk about black history facts and different stuff like that. So this is somewhere else to consider how else you can develop yourself. So I just went through five ways that you can develop yourself holistically as a student athlete. Now I'm going to go back through and just recap in case you were asleep, right? In case you were asleep. So the first way I said, we can always go to the OG way of developing ourselves, which is books. Books, old school paper, you turn the pages, you feel them, you fold them over on whatever sticks out to you because this is not going anywhere. You have a library or you can order books from Amazon or wherever you desire to order books from. The next way I said we can develop ourselves is by listening to audiobooks. And I said audiobooks because this allows you to have content to listen to on the go, on the move, wherever you're at, before practice, after practice, leaving, going to a friend's wherever, right? We got the audiobook option. Then we take it a step further with the podcast. Talk to me about my podcast. Podcasts allow you to extract experiences from people's interviews as well as from just listening to people share their own perspective. That's why I started my podcast to share my own perspective, right? And by you doing this through listening to a podcast, now you can determine if you're interested in certain things and then you can dive in deeper later on. But by listening to podcasts and by wetting your beak with podcasts, now you can search any topic and listen in your ears. Quick conversations, long conversations, whatever it might be, it's all right there. And then we got YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. Like I said before, YouTube is a search engine. So therefore, whatever you put in, that's going to determine what you get out, how to bake a cake, how to print t-shirts, how to start my own company, whatever it might be. You can get this information on YouTube. But like I said before, do not stop there. If you get certain information, cross-reference it with professors, cross-reference it with the school of law, the school of business, these different places. If you're on a college campus, because I don't want you to take a little crumb of information, apply it and think that's it. No, 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 no. There's a crumb, but then there's so much more of the meal. And the last way I said was TikTok. TikTok is fast, quick, and easy content. Today, we talked about five different ways that you can develop yourself holistically as a student athlete. This is Jonathan Jones. This has been another episode of Beyond the Ball. If you enjoy this content, go ahead, smash that subscribe button on YouTube and drop a comment down below.
All right. Until next time, family, this is Beyond the Ball. We help you succeed beyond your degree. Peace and God bless. Thank you.